It's the Valley's most in-depth weather forecast. We call it Weather for Weather Geeks. Even if you're not a weather geek, hope you like these videos. Hope you find them informative. If your business depends on the weather, uh, if uh, your livelihood depends on it, or if you're just really interested in a detailed forecast that you can't get on an app or on TV, then hey, this is your video. Let's get right to it this evening and uh, not going to spend a lot of time on the current radar because, of course, this is a recorded video and most of you will be watching this well afterwards. So this is what the radar did look like at about 7.30 this evening. We had some areas of late to moderate rain in Columbiana County uh, from Lisbon south on Route 30 down towards East Liverpool and then up in Mercer County, eastern parts of the county. Uh, we've got a little bit of a late to moderate rain there. Overall, the uh, heaviest of the rain over the last 12 hours, especially the last six hours, has been out across western PA. Let me actually take off the uh, advisories there. Let's do a, a radar loop over the last five hours, showing you that some of this stuff just sort of sat for a while over Pittsburgh. There's very little wind aloft. Wind upstairs at the steering level, 5, 10, 15 miles per hour. There's just not much air moving up there. So as these clouds bubble up and form precipitation, there's not much to move them along. So uh, flooding problems earlier around Pittsburgh, parts of uh, western PA as well. And this is something we have to be on guard for uh, this evening. Even though the radar is not terribly impressive right now, these, these bands that try to get going here and there might try to sit and get a little bit you know, might misbehave a little bit. We might have some uh, localized flooding problems in a couple of spots. Don't want to play it up right now. I don't think it's overall a huge threat, but it's something that I'll be watching for as we go through the uh, the rest of the evening. Some 24-hour uh, rainfall totals here across western PA. Pretty impressive, though. We had some flash flooding earlier in southern parts of uh, Allegheny County. An inch to two inches of, of rain in a, in a pretty short amount of time. Uh, in Columbiana County, uh, we've had uh, some Doppler radar estimates here of a half an inch or more between Lisbon and East Liverpool. Here's a look at our high-res uh, model as we go through the evening. It's doing a decent-ish job of portraying the current radar. Not bad. What it does do is it tries to, you know, kind of park an area of rain maybe over Columbiana County for a while this evening. And this is, again, something I'll have to watch out for this evening to see if this comes to fruition, if we get a nearly stationary band of rain, some localized flooding, something that can't be ruled out. That'll fade away overnight. Now, tomorrow morning, I think, starts dry as a, a band of showers dissipates as it tries to come into northern Ohio. So tomorrow morning is generally just fine. Now, of course, tomorrow afternoon, our story becomes the possibility of severe weather. Pretty strong cold front coming our way. You know, at this time of the year, cold fronts usually are pretty wimpy. Usually, you know, if you get a cold frontal passage, if you're lucky, you get uh, uh, the humidity dropping a few notches, usually not a big temperature change. But by July standards, this is a pretty good cold front, and so the conditions are pretty good, especially with the timing tomorrow coming through in the afternoon. Conditions pretty good, pretty favorable for stronger thunderstorms. Uh, and so that's something we'll be watching out for. The Storm Prediction Center, part of the National Weather Service, does have our uh, region in what we call the slight risk in the yellow here of severe weather. Now, I don't like using the word slight that much. Kind of, you know, usually you think slight, ooh, small chance. But actually, it's kind of one of the medium categories here. And generally speaking, as a general rule, when we start talking about slight risk areas issued by the Storm Prediction Center, that usually means scattered severe storms are possible. Anything would be fairly short-lived, usually, and not necessarily region-wide. In other words, it's unlikely everyone sees severe weather tomorrow. So that's, you know, speaking in generalities, what a slight risk means. Now let's talk about the impacts and get a little more specific for you here. I do think that uh, the the window of possible severe weather is, generally speaking, 2 to 8 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. You know, a big arts festival in downtown Youngstown. A lot going on this weekend. Places are setting up. A lot of people are outdoors tomorrow. 2 to 8 is when you really got to be weather aware. Uh, wind damage the number one concern. Could be some hail in some of the taller storms. And even though there will be more wind to steer storms along tomorrow, there's a lot of juice in the atmosphere. It's going to be really muggy tomorrow. So flash flooding in some of the more efficient rainmakers will be something we'll have to watch out for as well. So again, I, I would put wind damage as the number one threat. What about isolated tornadoes? I think the threat's real low. It's not zero, but it's real low. Uh, you know, I, I do think that damaging winds takes the... Uh, takes the number one spot as far as threats go. But look at the big air mass change coming this weekend. I mentioned this is a strong cold front. 
and dew point temperatures dropping into the mid 50s by Saturday afternoon, maybe upper 40s on Sunday. That is a real treat for mid July. So enjoy this because as you can see, the higher dew point air definitely comes back next week. But boy, it's going to be a great weekend weather wise. Now, I can't rule out a quick passing shower Saturday morning with some clouds around and, and the wind coming off the Great Lakes. The air aloft will be pretty chilly by July standards, w blowing over those warm Great Lakes. Could there be a passing shower Saturday morning? Yeah, that's possible. But Saturday afternoon looks good. I think Sunday is going to be a gorgeous summer day with low humidity and a good deal of sunshine. So here's our official uh, weekend outlook showing uh, Sunday. Beautiful day, 78, 74. That's it on Saturday. That's 8 degrees below the average. So take advantage of the weekend if you can. All right, let's take a quick look at the longer range. Here's a look at the latest uh, climate forecast system. This is... Uh, American modeling here. Sometimes I show you the European versions of these longer range models. Basically, this is from now through the end of July, temperature anomalies, difference from average. Pretty strong signal for a warm July, even hot across parts of the Plain States, the upper Midwest, parts of the Rockies. Maybe a little bit of a cooler signal across parts of the Mid-Atlantic region and around eastern Ohio, western PA, not a real strong signal either way, but you know, if I had to lean one way or the other, maybe even leaning a little bit cool. Uh, according to this set of modeling, and this generally jives with uh, some of the other longer range modeling. So a heat wave, a July heat wave, a lot of 90s, doesn't seem real likely. And, you know, for me, that's just fine. I'm not a big fan of the high heat. Uh, what about precipitation? Uh, again, not much of a signal either way here. Hot and dry out in the Plain States, the green and brown colors, uh, dry anomalies. Uh, not much of a signal either way here. So I think July is probably going to go into the record books as a fairly typical one both in terms of temperature and precipitation, although I always tell you in the warm season, predicting precipitation anomalies over a few week or a month period is tough because, you know, we just saw this at the end of June. We had a couple of big thunderstorm days, two, three inches of rain in a short amount of time, and that skewed June's numbers. June was a pretty dry month as far as the number of days with rain, but the days it did rain in the last 10 days of the month, it rained a lot, so that skewed the numbers. So that's always a trickier forecast, but temperature-wise, I don't think July will be very remarkable at all. And, and uh, again, not many signs of high sustained heat. All right, tomorrow I'll have, of course, a lot of updates with the thunderstorm threat in the afternoon. We might do a live weather for Weather Geeks in the evening, depending on the weather. I'll do some other Facebook live videos during the uh, potential severe weather tomorrow afternoon. So look for that on my Facebook page. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm Eric WFMJ on Twitter and Instagram. And have a great Thursday night.